details about Lewis Stirringer mechanism. Let us discuss about Lewis Stirringer mechanism. What the Lewis has done has taken a four wheeler like this, as shown in the figure. This is a four wheeler, two front wheels, these two front wheels, and these two are back wheels. So for this four wheeler, he has done some setup on the front axle like this. Here, this is a BD VH, and this is AM. Has taken two slotted bars, has done something. So from this, he uh, has derived some equation. This is a Davis steering gear mechanism. This is some modification for uh, the fundamental uh, steering gear mechanism. What is the modification? And uh, first, let me uh, explain what is the terminology that he used here. Here is small a, this one small a, small a is the distance between, uh, it is the vertical distance between b and b dash. So it is better to write separately. So this is the Davis steering gear mechanism. So from here, now first let me explain what is the terminology used here. This is b b dash equal to small a. Small e is equal to b v dash. Next, uh, small b, that is wheel base. Small b is equal to wheel base. Next, uh, small c. Small c is equal to uh, small c. That is uh, the distance between uh, the pivot point C and B. Distance between A and B. That is small c. Uh, next, uh, uh, here this is the front axle. On this front axle, we have done something like this some setup is there. That setup is from here a slotted link, and from here also a slotted link like this. And here also a slotted link like this. So this is the slotted link B H, and this is A M. And this point, uh, capital D, this point, capital C. So initially, the slotted links, uh, these two links, they are making angle alpha to vertical. And here also, this is alpha. And the distance between these two, from here to here, that is the D, small d, and here also from here to here, horizontal distance, small d. After that, here the vehicle is taking a left turn like this. When the vehicle is taking a left turn, about this pivot point, wheel will rotate to an angle, Theta. We will rotate through an angle theta. Similarly, here also, whenever the vehicle is taking a left turn, the wheel will rotate through an angle phi. Through an angle phi. Now, automatically, these two slotted bars, this is a BH and AM, these will also will rotate. Here, BD. I'll take a color. Whenever it has taken a turn, BD, this BD, will move from here to here. It will move from here to here.
d to d dash this distance d to d dash distance this one d d dash is equal to x and this angle this total is alpha see this one is alpha and uh, it is something like this So this turning angle is. So this remaining, this is alpha minus two. Similarly here also, initial alpha. Now the point C will come, will uh, slide from here to here. C there. Here is there, but uh, I'm drawing separately. A little like this. This is an arrangement in such a way that. Uh, these points can slide like this so now here c c dash also again x c c dash, c c dash is equal to d d dash that is equal to x and this angle is five now this total angle is alpha plus five alpha plus five so this we have to understand now this terminology we have to carefully observe and next uh, here we will observe some right angle triangles are there so first i will draw on right angle triangle separately which is in the right hand side portion that is this is the right angle triangle so here a a dash a dash c dash and here C. C. Here two right angle triangles are there. First A dash C, if we observe triangle A, A dash C. That angle is alpha. This one alpha. And this one phi. So from this the tan alpha is equal to opposite side a dash c a dash c that is d small d by adjacent uh, adjacent side that is a a dash a a dash is nothing but a here so tan alpha is equal to d by a later from the same triangle i will consider this angle alpha plus phi so if i take a tan alpha plus phi is equal to here opposite side d plus x d plus x d means a dash c d and c c dash x this total d plus x by small adjacent side it means uh, d plus x by a is equal to tan alpha plus phi formula tan alpha plus tan phi by 1 minus tan alpha tan phi. If I simplify this, then I'll get, this uh, time erasing this. I simplify that equation, what I will get? That is d plus x by a is equal to tan alpha means that is d by a plus tan phi by 1 minus tan alpha d by a tan phi. If I take LCM A, then I will get D plus A tan phi divided by A by A minus D tan phi again divided by A. A, A gets cancelled. Now cross multiply. Then I will get D plus X into A minus D tan phi. Is equal to 
ये इनटू डी प्लस ये डैम पाइस तो मल्टीप्लाई डी प्लस डी इनटू ये ए डी माइनस डी स्क्वायर डैम पाइ प्लस ये एक्स माइनस डी एक्स डैम पाइ इज इक्वल टू ये डी प्लस ये स्क्वायर डैम पाइ तो नाउ AD AD gets cancelled here. AD very AD. If I take the uh, tan phi as common, then I will get tan phi into a square minus d square. That side plus d square plus uh, d x is equal to a. From this tan phi is equal to a x by a square plus b square plus c x. This is the relation for tan phi. Tan phi is equal to a x by a square plus b square plus b x. Similarly. If I take the right angle triangle, which is at the left hand side portion also, I'll get the relation for tan theta. So that also we will see here. You can observe here there is one more right angle triangle at the left hand side. That one is I'll redraw it again. This left hand side, if I see here, this portion, in this portion, there is one more right angle triangle, which is like this. This is a B T. B dash uh, and the next uh, initially this angle alpha one more like this B dash this one theta. Now we will consider this value that is alpha minus theta. You know B B dash that is small here. B D dash B D dash is equal to x. Next B B dash D the part is small. So from this, if first initially if I take tan alpha, tan alpha is equal to opposite side uh, that is D by A tan alpha, and here if I take tan Alpha minus theta is equal to so this portion B dash D dash B dash D dash then uh, yeah that B dash D dash is equal to total B D minus x by y. So if I simplify this so D minus x by y is equal to tan alpha minus theta that is tan alpha. Minus tan theta by one minus tan alpha tan theta. That is equal tan alpha means that is d by a minus tan theta divided by one minus d by a tan theta. From this, uh, d minus x by a is equal to. If I take LCM. D minus A tan theta by A minus D tan theta. Cross multiply, then we will get A into D A D minus D square tan theta minus uh, A X minus minus plus. Dx tan theta is equal to AD 
minus a square cancelled. So here, ad ad gets cancelled. Then uh, if I take uh, tan square theta common, I will get uh, tan theta common. Tan theta. If I take common, tan theta into uh, tan theta. You take that side. Really. So here, uh, tan alpha minus theta formula tan a minus tan a by 1 plus tan a tan b. It means here we have to take a plus or not a minus this one. So this is a plus. And here also plus. A plus b tan. Then what I will get a into the a plus plus b square tan theta right uh, minus yes okay this is minus again okay. minus uh, dx tan theta is equal to ad minus yes tan theta now if i take common tan theta then i uh, will get here d square and here minus a square this side plus a square so a square plus d square minus dx is equal to plus ax so from this i'll get tan theta is equal to ax by a square plus d square minus dx this is the final relation for tan theta this is the final relation for tan theta. Next, now I get the relation for tan theta and tan phi. We know the fundamental condition for correct steering that is cot uh, uh, theta minus cot phi is equal to P by B. That is the fundamental mathematical fundamental condition for correct steering there. Yeah. That we can observe uh, here. So this is the derivation that we have derived as just now. So here we can observe tan theta, this one, ax by x square plus b square minus bx. Similarly, uh, tan phi ax by x square plus b square plus bx. So correct condition for correct derivation, cot phi minus cot theta is equal to c by b. Cot phi minus cot theta is equal to c by b. This is the fundamental condition for correct state. If I substitute these values, cot phi means uh, reciprocal of tan phi. So this uh, I can substitute like this. Cot phi means 1 by tan phi. 1 by tan phi means a square plus d square plus dx by ax minus a square plus d square minus dx by ax is equal to c by b. So from this uh, a square minus a square cancel, d square minus d square cancel. Now 2 dx by ax is equal to c by b. xx cancel. Again d by a means tan alpha. So I can write uh, 2 tan alpha is equal to c by b. This is the condition derived by Davis. So that is why we call it as a Davis steering gear mechanism.